dual citizenship issue of uh, Goa. For that, I had personally taken uh, special interest and uh, we had set up a committee. It is unfortunate that many people were victim of the provisions of our country as well as uh, Portuguese. So many people were facing problem. Now we have already set up the committee and the report is final. And uh, very soon we are going to create uh, something like an authority. And we don't want to decide in Delhi. It should be decided in Goa. We will create an authority where they will decide any issue related to citizenship and the status should be dealt in Goa on daily basis as per the requirement and need of the local people here. They should not run around in Delhi for their daily need. The security along the coastal line by establishing various uh, marine police stations and creating a very robust system, we have put in place. So it is much more secure. And recently while I was coming, we have already uh, sanctioned four, uh, four big boats, 12-ton uh, boats. Each will cost uh, four crore each. Uh, so we will be giving four additional special boats for Goa. We have constraints with regards to resources. It's not only with Goa, every state has a problem. And the Fortin Finance Commission has devolved the police modernization fund to the state government. The Home Ministry has already uh, written to the Finance Ministry to, to work out a mechanism where we continue to fund the state police because most of the state government have underfunded their state police and their um, uh, security agencies. So we want that uh, adequate fund allocation must be pro provided for the security agencies. So if Finance Ministry agrees to the new proposal which we have sent, uh, I hope we will be able to um, uh, continue to fund the state police uh, uh, in terms of uh, supporting their police modernization. So the issues which you raise about the gears and other equipments and kits and all, this should be taken care of. I'm very hopeful that something will come out. Earlier, the police modernization is funded with the central government from the Home Ministry. From the 14 Finance Commission's report, they have suggested that this should be handed over to the state government with the more devolution of state uh, share in the central tax. So with that, uh, the Home Ministry has stopped funding the police modernization for various states. That is what we have requested the Finance Ministry to reconsider and uh, the fund must continue to flow from the central government because the security um, establishment in the states are underfunded. It has always been the practice because Home Ministry used to supplement the other gaps which has stopped. So there is some anomalies there. Sarkarad Vishay Mena Munkhai Virodag Nakate Vishay Ustun Khaudar Galtat. There has been no single corruption in any of the government dealings in the government of India. It's a spotless government. Absolutely corruption free. The Congress Party and some of their allies are running short of issues. They don't have any anything to criticize against this government. So they try to create some unnecessary anomalous debate like, like intolerance issues, like intolerance, beef eating, all these are non-issues. And they create unnecessary tamasha in this country. And once one election is over, they will not raise this issue again. That means you can imagine how they want to digress from the main issues. Prudenta Khatir reporter Mahesh Ghadiani, senior video journalist Tushidash Chari.